Yes, Lord, we celebrate your goodness tonight. Come on. Hallelujah. It's a brand new day. We thank God for his faithfulness and for his mercy to spare our lives and to keep us. You are welcome to Psalm from the day for the day. Psalm for the day reaching out to you from RCCG Central Parish, Abuja. And our Psalm for today is Psalm chapter 3, verse 1. Shall we pray? Lord Almighty, we thank you for the gift of life. Thank you for all that you have done for us, especially for the battles you've won for us. Thank you, Lord, because you are committed to giving us victory at all times. As we share your word again this morning, today, wherever we are watching from, let your word bless us and let your word do us good. In Jesus' mighty name we are prayed. Amen. Our psalm for today is Psalm chapter 3, verse 1. Psalm chapter 3. Verse 1, Lord, how are they increased that trouble me? Many are they that rise up against me. I see this psalm relating to the issues and the stories of the life of someone. You are asking God or petitioning God or talking to God and say, Lord, can't you see? Lord, are you not aware of the many adversaries that are incensed and increased against me? From your place of work, to your neighbors, to your office, you see enemy activities around you, even to your immediate family. Like this story is the background of the story of David and Absalom, his son. Who rose against him even while he was alive to take his throne? I want to pray for you in the name of Jesus. Anyone who has sworn to take your place even while you are alive, who says in their lifetime you will not enjoy the place of honor, the place of prominence, the place of wealth, the place of fulfillment that God had designed for you to get to. The Almighty God will rise and fight against them in the name of Jesus. Amen. So we look at the story that brought about that prayer of David in Psalm chapter 3. The story is found in 2 Samuel chapter 15. 2 Samuel chapter 15, I'll read from verse 13. 2 Samuel 15 verse 13. And there came a messenger to David saying, The hearts of the men of Israel are after Absalom. Hmm. And David said unto all his servants that were with him at Jerusalem, Arise, and let us flee, for we shall not else escape from Absalom. Make speed to depart, lest he overtake us suddenly, and bring evil upon us, and smite the city with the edge of the sword. We see a son who was there to take the position of his father even before the father left the throne. And we, we see a wisdom in, in that scripture, in that reading that David puts across to us, that there is a time to confront the enemy, and there is also a time to hide, to run from the enemy, so that we will not suddenly lose our lives. There was a time in First Samuel chapter 17, when David ran towards Goliath, he took the battle of the Lord to the camp of the enemies, and God stood by him and gave him big victory in his name. And this also was a time that David had to run from his enemy in his son. He had to run from his enemy in his son. I want to pray for someone that in the name of Jesus, the wisdom to know the battles to face and the battles to avoid and the battles to dodge and the battles to escape from. 
May the Almighty God give to you in the name of Jesus. You know, a man said, he prayed a prayer and he said, God, give me the courage to change the things I can change. Give me the patience to accept the things I cannot change. And give me the wisdom to know the difference. And this prayer is very germane and relevant to the experience of David here. So what did he do in Psalm chapter 3? The Bible says, David called upon the name of the Lord. He said, Lord, there are many incensed against me to trouble me. He says, Lord, arise for my help. And of course, we know what the story says down in that second Samuel chapter 15. It was not too long from that after David had run, had run away with his uh, armies, with his allies. They took off to run from the onslaught of his son. It was not too long after that time that God rose for him. God fought against his son who wanted to take power from him on what village. And what happened? Absalom committed suicide. He died with his hair hanging him on the tree. Suddenly, just like that, because God rose on behalf of David to fight for him. I pray for you in the name that is above every other name. In the name of Jesus that conquers Satan. As you hand over your adversaries to God. And as you turn the battles of your life over to him. In the ways you can never imagine possible. In the ways you can never think possible. How would you imagine that David will confront his son Absalom to fight against him? He handed over the battle to God. And God rose for him. God took Absalom and his allies out of the scene. And of course, Solomon was installed and peace reigned in the time of David before he handed over the throne. I pray for you in the name of Jesus. Every adversary is risen against you, especially from your father's house or mother's house. Internal enemies. Enemies that are, that are portraying themselves like friends. Enemies that you cannot confront in your own strength. You cannot confront eyeball to eyeball. The mighty God will arise for you. It will show up in your favor. It will show up for you and it will bring them down before you in the name of Jesus. Your place of honor, your place of dignity, your place of favor and fulfillment that God has prepared for you, you will not lose it to your enemies. So shall it be. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Just say, Lord, thank you for your word to me. I have confidence in you. I have confidence in you, Jesus. I have confidence in you, Savior. Lord, we have confidence in you. Anytime, anyway, we have confidence in you, Jehovah. Moon. May that confidence continue to help us to move closer to him as he fights all our battles. As you enter into this new week, you will prevail over every adversary. Doors will open unto you. Gates will be lifted before you. Help from heaven above will reach out to you in the name of Jesus. And your enemies will bow before you. So shall it be. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Do have a glorious week. God bless you.